cow. Wow, look at this. Is that the cherry and spoon sculpture? Right there in the middle of the screen? <laughs> I believe it is. It seems like we are going to the very same adventure we went to last week. But if you think that, you would be mistaken. We're gonna check out this building across the street, which is the Walker Art Center. Look at that building there. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of exhibits and paintings and sculptures and things to check out. And so that is what we are gonna be doing today. And there's a sculpture we didn't see last week right there. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure on Tommy Travels the Second. And we are back in the same vicinity as we were last week, except this time we're checking out the Walker Art Center behind me. And this should be really fun. I've never been to this location before, so we'll learn about it together today as per usual. If you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. And come on with me guys, let's go see what there is to see. So we came in from this area. They have a little restaurant that you can get something to eat at. We're on the first level. This is where you get your tickets, but I really like this lounge area that they have. <laughs> little couches and all these stones, but they're not stones, they're pillows. Look at that. Nice soft pillows to lounge around on all over. And then a beautiful view of Minneapolis and the Sculpture Garden on the other side of the street. This place was well designed and well thought out. We've now entered the first level of the museum and we come to find this thing of beauty. My goodness. This is a 1991 Pontiac Grand Am. Except it's not really. It's by an artist named Charles Ray who found a 1991 Pontiac Grand Am totaled in a junkyard. He bought it and then took it home, disassembled it part by part and recast each piece in fiberglass. And then painstakingly reassembled every single piece to rebuild this totaled car. Look at the detail. Wow, even down to the Pontiac Grand Am on the back of the car. Unbelievable. This roped off area, we cannot access the full room, so I have the lens kind of zoomed in here so we can see some of the objects in this collection. It is by Don Vo, and he creates sculptures and installations that often include items from his family members or non-artists and he likes to take a look at the way collected objects or personal belongings shed light on our sense of identity and this is a collection from an artist named Martin Wong he was a painter in New York and these are just a whole bunch of different random items that were collected including this cool little lamp here Wow, they've got all sorts of stuff. Holy cow. There's a Mickey Mouse clock right up there. All sorts of different pottery. There's a collection of Donald Duck stuff way in the back and about the center of the screen there. Looks like a lot of this has a influence from Vietnam where Don Bo is from as well. But I'm seeing a lot of Disney stuff in here as well. Barney Animal Crackers. A nameplate, Martin V. Wong. Absolutely cool. Very interesting. I wish we could go further into this room and take a closer look, but I could be here all day pointing out different things. Very neat. And I like this lamp in the very back. I wish you could see it a little bit closer, but it is a 
giant uh, hamburger lamp from what it looks like. <laughs> looks like a double burger with lettuce and tomatoes and cheese. The whole works. This space of the museum that we are entering is called Interiors. Indoor spaces present opportunities for observing life's routines, pleasures, and complexities. And right over here we have an interior art installation <laughs> of what looks like a guy stopping by his favorite local diner and grabbing a cup of coffee. <laughs> she is hard at work pouring another cup and he must be deep in thought about something. At first I was wondering why they would put an ordinary pool table in an art exhibit like this. And I came up to it and I saw the balls on the table and I thought, hmm, something looks different about this pool table. <laughs> Can you tell what it is? Give up? There are no pockets. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to win a game on this pool table. Your mama's so poor, I saw your mama kicking a can down the street. I said, what you doing? She said, moving. This area is called Everyday Objects. And look at this little black poodle they have. Just hanging out and admiring all the different attractions around here. I am now standing in a room that is completely chalkboard. And chalk. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. This place was worth the price of admission. All sorts of ways for people to express themselves in the form of chalk. <laughs> Peace, brother. This is always good. I'm taller than these people with an arrow pointing down. And then, <laughs> not me. <laughs> Classic. Well, you guys, this has been another successful adventure today at Tommy Travels the Second. We've been at the Walker Art Museum in Minneapolis, and I'm just astounded by all the creative pieces that we got to check out today. And if you guys liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. Thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me so far, and until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side.